Hey guys, what's going on? GTRS of 2002 here, and I'm going to be showing you. Well, I'm in direct mode. Really can't show you out of direct mode on how to get the Duco Death, but it's very simple to actually get this car. It just takes a little while to actually come across. So let's say uh, the Duco Death, as you can tell, I do have it. Nice car inside. But well, I'm really having to get outside to actually show you on how it's parked. And it does not come up as a car. It is a random event. She does come up as a blue dot. You just have to take out the heavies first, which for that, you need a damn right good gun. Or else these guys are just going to keep coming after you. So the car will just be sitting here like this. And you can find it as any character. I did find this car as Franklin, just randomly driving around here. After I got the. After I got Los Santos Customs out here, all of a sudden, five seconds later, it just, it just spawned out here. So, pretty much, all that you have to do is have all three characters unlocked, have businesses available to purchase. Per Go down, purchase or sent us customs as Franklin, and hopefully within the, within the five seconds it should appear. If it doesn't appear, just keep trying by going backwards, or going back, or by going up and down the roadway until you see this blue dot, or until you actually see the car, which at this point is stock standard. Pretty damn good car for police chases, pursuit work, and a stakeout vehicle if you're wanting to do LSPDFR. Perfect stakeout vehicle, especially if they end up figuring out that it's a copper inside the car. People think. Some people do think you can actually shoot through that window. Well, you really can't shoot through those windows because that's also bulletproof. An overall pure bulletproof car does equal to a good getaway vehicle. And if you really want to have it heat it up so it can withstand much, much more damage, you can do what I do, and that's fully upgrade it. Police response terms on me. You can shoot out of your windshield, but you can't shoot out of anywhere else because of how heavily armoured it is. And one hit with this car, it does disable a fair amount of vehicles. Even stock standard, this does end up taking out a lot of police vehicles. But fully upgraded, you literally can just go through the right truck. You can go through the right trucks like they're virtually just nothing. They do come stock standard bulletproof tyres, so that does also come in handy for police pursuits, as well as it comes in handy overall if you're online. Because this is how you also do unlock the car through purchase online. I should know I've had this car multiple times on every on every single platform. I have had it on PS3, Xbox 360, PS4. Xbox One, which is what I'm currently playing on right now, and I have managed to find it on PC or in the same location. So, other people saying the locations are over in Los Santos, that's not completely true. That guy was in direct mode, which is what I'm in now. Well, one, if I have to get out by any chance, I can. So, I've just still doing a few tests. I actually want to see how this thing goes up against tanks. So, that's what I'm going to go do. Go race through the military base. Oh, well, that Jeep just... That Jeep just ended up like... Well, nothing. 
at Jake is just gone. As uh, you can tell, I'm admitting that you Jake still can't stop this car. It is virtually what you call a train of cars. Okay, that was stopped. So that is another myth that has just been busted right there, right in front of us. What is car can withstand? People have said it can be withstand up to five shots with explosive rounds. That is false. As you can just see, one tank does take it out. That was a fully customized and armored vehicle. So pretty much at the moment, I can't even get up. I didn't even get a chance to fire. Okay, cool. Taking down the tanks myself. For the quick take out of the tank, as well as I do have some other rare vehicles I will be showing you soon, but I just have to, you know, get out of the army base and then remove my wanted level, which is just quite simple. Then I can show you some other vehicles, and I do know their locations. But the, those are specifically next-gen vehicles, Xbox One, PS4, and PC only. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go into my settings. Disable, why I want to level. So that's just now been disabled. I'm only having to deal with a bit of a response team, so the right, so response team is nothing, but they're just now fully gone. The response team's just backed off, everyone has backed down, but now there's going to be a high amount of policing around. Really just looking out for a red deco death, well a red armoured car, you know, so a red armoured vehicle. Because I really can't describe the car. They have said it's a dispatch. Uh, we have a armored vehicle. Okay, next car I'm going to show you that is rare. I have lost the rare police vehicle, but... Okay... I have two of them. I have two out of the four rare vehicles. Okay, so this one right here. People do actually have, people have put this up online, this car, as how it is. People have, even Rockstar Games themselves have put this car up, but this is only a next gen vehicle. And it is the stock car version of Franklin's car, which my Franklin does have sitting in his shed. I've also showed you some of the. I was also planning on showing some of the rarest cop cars, but I can't at the moment. Because, well, technical difficulties. Well, it's just. This car is. car is just like Franklin's. As you can see right here, it is exactly like Franklin's. Everything, almost everything is the same apart from this is just the stock car version, so it's just a bit more quicker than Franklin's. 
but overall it is still virtually the same as Franklin since it's also a bit more of a limited edition. Next car I'm going to show you, which they both do come from the same area, is the Burger Shot Zone. Yes, mine is also customised to my life, as you can see right here. I could not change the colour, this is actually the standard livery, you cannot change the colour of this. Unlike other, one, other types of these cars, this one is physically virtual. You cannot really customise apart from the wheels, you know, put all the proof of tyres and all that on it. But I would not recommend this car if you are in a police pursuit. So I have tried that before. And all that I caught was virtually just getting blown up within the first go. Well, I fully disabled my vehicle within a couple of seconds. But the Duco Death. That car, fully done up, going around, you can vir virtually, you can literally do four or five laps of the map with the one car before you have to change her up or, well, get it fixed. As well as this car, once you unlock it, you can get the cheat for it. I will be going out of direct mode right now. So there we go, as well as I can show you the price of it offline. This is close to a million dollars once you unlock it online. But offline, it's a whole lot more cheaper. As you can see, I'm back as Trevor. I do have a Duke of Death with me. Fully customized yet again. Red and black and red, which, well, as you can see, they're virtually my signature colors. So I've got no I have choice to use signature colors or whatever you can do it whatever you want I have seen people have them in pink and black doesn't really suit the car as you can tell once I get out you do have a NOS can sitting there ready and waiting I'll we'll just show you closely snappy on what the car is like in the interior so you even have that input you know you got it's nowhere near like the stock standard one for a change as well as you can't really see out the back window so that whole entire back area right there is blackened because there is a whole entire bulletproof panel right behind that and those loafers are also bulletproof a car is 100% pure armoured ready and waiting for further action we're actually waiting for action. Now what else I want to show you is, same we have unlocked it. All that you just want to do once you unlock it, if you don't know the cheat, but you still do want another one, just for safekeeping, you can get it right here at Warstock. Which once you do that, you have access to buy it for two hundred and seventy-nine thousand. This just comes naturally with the game. This car for two hundred fifty thousand, two hundred forty-nine thousand. Yeah, and you know the rest of the prices on Warstock. They're not real cheap. Sadly, with these other cars I do have, you can't physically buy those other two I've got. But you can only buy the stock standard version of them. You can't buy the custom version. But, you know, the versions I've got whatsoever. Well, one of them you can only buy the normal version. The other one is only offline, specifically for Franklin. You can't buy it whatsoever, as everyone knows. But online... You can buy as much as you want. I had four of them sitting in the one shed one stage. Sitting on PS3. So virtually that's how that goes. The DK Death. So I could have said, all that you really do want to do. 
See why I can't physically show you. Alright, so really, I should have actually had this marked out. So I'm going to have this as a point of interest right here because this is the exact location you really do want to go. I went there by taxi. You know, I went by taxi just to purchase the place, then all of a sudden this blue dot did randomly appear from nowhere, sitting up on my radar. So, I'm just going to ditch this jig of death, same I do have unlimited of them. So now all I'm just going to go do is call a cab. Way, sir. I will be showing you the cheat soon. Right about now, I am going to be showing the cheat. Uh, one, you know, triple nine like usual. D E A T. Death. Then C A R. And there you go. She's going to spawn right out in front of me. So, see, I got all that done. I can spawn the car. Sam, I don't need any of those Jika depths at the moment. I do have them for getaway vehicles, but I also. Do you have it just for a daily driver? Because you know, why the hell not have a daily driver that beast? So like I said, it should spawn here. That was just random. That guy just blowing up. I had nothing to do with that. Okay, so that number is 1999-33284227 to spawn the Duke of Death. Of course, once you have unlocked the car. Once you have unlocked her, how do I say it? You really want to see it just sitting right here, but it, as like I said, it does come up as a blue dot just sitting here. So, yeah, once you've spotted that blue dot, I should say, a blue dot has randomly just spawned in. You walk up, you see the car sitting there. You do have deranged truckers coming after you. Once you take them out, then you have four to five hill, four to five cars full of hillbillies. Then after that, you have fully unlocked the car. Once you've killed all them, you have unlocked your car. So seeing this card does come in handy as being well, you know, heavily armoured, you can just go straight through the lost in there. You can go just straight through the lost with ease. Because they don't realise that your car is that damn armoured. Like what I've just said then, as you can tell, usually people would die by just doing this, but thanks to the old Duke of Death. Right, well, I'm saying it's full on, just stock standard. Now as you can see, I'm going to be showing you all the custom modifications you could do to it, which is not real much, but you know. 
Once I get it repaired, you can go for maximum arm, which does strengthen out the vehicle a whole lot more, which that somehow I managed to get through. Riot trucks. Headlights, you can do all that. You know, you can keep your neons, as we may, I like to go for red neons, because, well, why not? Same one I'm going to be going for my signature colours, which, as everyone knows, if you play GTA Online with me, you would usually see a red and black vehicle, or a red or a black vehicle, which that's really, it's just really what gives it away, it's me just driving around, being an absolute, well, ask what to people, if that's the way I put it. Same she is the Duke of Death, I do put Dukes on it. Tires, you don't have to worry about bulletproof tires, as you can see right here, it does come stock standard with the bullies. Which some people still don't get bully what bullies means. That's the reason why I say bulletproof tires. I don't really care how much I do spend in the car, but if I went here as Franklin, I would have got everything for free. And yes, you cannot tint the windows. So anyone who thinks you can tint your windows on a Duke of Death, it is impossible to tint your windows unless if you're a modder. So like I said, now that's just never going to respawn there, this car, because, well, I've done the random event. Like I said, just out of the blue, I'm going to now go run over this copper. And now I'm out of here. Because once you do a hit and run on the office, so that's it. You have to get out of there. But you know, I was going to show you. Why run? This car you physically can use as your alternative getaway vehicle for heists. This has got to be the best heist getaway vehicle possibly known. Because I say coppers get in the way or anyone who gets in the way and tries to stop you. Unless if they've got a tank, you're physically unstoppable. As you can see right here, I'm just going through ease with all these cop cars. This you can also cause them to go straight through trees. That police vehicle is the one. Ah, uh, your face for a change? Um, but no, just joking about that. Nobody really does like the police officers around me. Because, well, as I say, one, they're highly aggressive towards them, two. They're pretty much what you call homongering ass wipes. I'm just activating invincibility because, well, just in case they decide to get in my car. So like I said, I have done the tests before in direct mode, and I have gone around five, six times. As you can see, just right there, one cop car down, just within a blink. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly use a cheat here. Take notes on what cheats as well. I may say I should have said take notes of the cheats. There we go. And I, as well as there's a bit of a trick to remember the cheat codes for the phone. All that you just have to do, right, is they do have a name beside them. For example, the Duco Death Death Car. Drop that into the phone Death Car, but with using numbers. But of course, you have to look up at what you're using. As you see right there, it comes up with the number, and you can just physically just keep on. Bang, then just press star, and then just call the cheat. And then your car is back as good as new. And this car, as you can see, one hit really does take out a fair amount of cop cars.
And the croppers really don't know what they're going up against, so they... So they say armored muscle car, but armored muscle car could be anything. They only give a faint description of the vehicle, which is kind of stupid for dispatch. Well, there's Christine. I just admit I have just spotted Christine there. And if anyone does not know what Christine is, Christine, she is a evil psychopathic car. That if you try to get on the wrong side, that if you get on the wrong side of, you're most likely dead. As you can see there, civilians one hit, there well kapoof, and their car is just virtually a nothing. Their car's history. Their history. Run, run. Well then, he's just, yeah, you're just driving around, nobody wants to get with you, well, you know, in the road of you, and yes, as well as, excuse that bit of a vibration sound, that was my phone, which is what I'm recording from. There you go. That's just a bit of the tutorial for the Duke of Death. There you go. There's the Duke of Death tutorial. This is GTA Racer 2002. I'm signing off. And there's Trevor with his GKDF. Peace out, guys. If there's any more videos, like any more armored vehicles you want me to try to do videos on, let me know. I'll see if I can try to find them. If I can find them, I will let you know. Till then, so, or if you want me to give you a bit more of the modification cons about the GKDF, just put it in the description. Just put in the comments down below. I am also named on Xbox on Xbox Live, just in case if you're wondering, as GTA 2002. People have been wondering how long will I be doing before I do a video like this, especially on this car. There you go, I managed to find it yesterday and I've done a video today. There you go guys, that's all.